Hey Jay again for Instagram. So I'm going to pray. Um, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for another day. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed it be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us of all our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver me from all evil for thine is the kingdom. Power and the glory. Let my zicket tear. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So the first thing the Lord was saying <laughs> is that he will forgive you if you forgive people. So if you're not forgiving your brother, your sister, your daughter, your husband, God is not going to forgive you for anything. Okay, he is not you're a stranger. And God says, you don't have to bring them close to your heart. You just got to forgive them. So and bless them. And you say, God bless you in Jesus name. Now, once you do all of that and you still going through trial and tribulation with enemies, then you pray David prayers. You pray the judgment prayers and stuff like that. But for now, God is just talking about forgiveness and forgiving people in order for the Lord to forgive you. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to be reading from Proverbs 11 verse 21. Though they join forces, the wicked will not go unpunished, but the prosperity of the righteous will be delivered. Hallelujah. I'm going to read it one more time. Though they join forces, the wicked will not go unpunished, but the prosperity of the righteous will be delivered. Hallelujah. So the Lord brought this verse to my attention this morning while I was praying. Um, I actually got it from, shout out to Rabbi Snyder. Okay. And the Lord is saying the wicked will not go unpunished and the righteous the prosperity of the righteous will be delivered. The rewards of the righteous shall be delivered and the wicked will not go unpunished. The wicked will not go unpunished. Hallelujah. So have confidence. Confidence is believing and trusting in God that he is going to do whatever he told you he's going to do. So that's all the Lord wanted you guys to really meditate on having confidence, believing and trusting that he is going to do what he said. He is the rewarder for those who did who diligently seek him. So I pray you all have a blessed day. Hallelujah. 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 I don't know why, but OK. Anx I was going to get off, but the Lord is saying anxiety in the heart of a man causes depression, but a good word makes it glad. So for those who are battling with anxiety or depression, you need the word to make you glad. You need the Lord Jesus himself. Okay, so shalom.